Okay, now we're in the GoCater web interface. Uh, we have the scan of our golf club. So today we're going to be showing how to use the new surface blob tool to identify defects on a particular surface. So we have our golf club here. Uh, we scanned it in 3D. You can see a height map located here. First thing we're going to do is try to flatten this surface in order to identify the defect. So we can see there's a, a dent here if we zoom into the 3D view. Um, there's a clear indentation on, on my golf club right here. So what we'll do is we'll flatten the surface using our built-in surface curvature tool. So when we go to a, our tool, uh, we do our surface curvature and we can see that it's flattening out that surface. So it's making it as flat as possible. Um, which will allow us to quickly identify regions that are higher or lower than the, the flat surface. Now that we've done that, uh, we can apply a surface blob tool in which we're going to apply a reference region and then our search region for where we want to find uh, these surface defects. So in this case, we can see that automatically it's picking out this little dent here that I have here. And uh, we can even see here on the right how deep that defect uh, is in this case. Um, not only does it give us the number of defects, but also uh, the location of the defects along with width and leg. So we can uh, apply some decision filters based off of this and, and give a decision and output, min and max, to say if this region is failing or if it is passing. So this is very effective if you need to identify defects that may be randomly located on this particular surface.